Okay, I think we can slowly start. Welcome everyone to Game Trailer Challenge. Uh, I'm your host today, uh, Julius Zekner. And in a second we'll start a talk called Your Game Trailer Sucks, Here's Why and How You Can Fix It. Okay, so your game your game trailer sucks, and here's how and how we can fix it. Uh, it's a it's a of course a clickbait title, but you'll get into it. Uh, my name is is Hugo Zekner. I'm art director in Robot Gentleman, a small studio in Poznan, indie game dev. Before uh, before games I was working in movies uh, in a studio called Platage Image when I was working on uh, films like uh, Melancholia by Lars von Trier. Uh, when I was doing post-production, made painting, special effects and such. Uh, other movies I was working on was influenced by Łukasz Barczyk. Uh, it was uh, also mostly post-production, special effects, made painting. Um, and the last movie I was working on before uh, I switched to game dev was uh, Ambition uh, by Tomasz Bagiński. It was a short movie about how awesome it is to land a satellite on a moving asteroid for European Space Agency. Um, okay, and 2015 uh, I joined my friend uh, Dominic Gotoyu uh, in a studio called Robot Gentleman. Actually, there were like just two of us, and we created a game called uh, 60 Seconds, uh, which had uh, released in which was released in 2015 in May. Um, it's our first game, and uh, it was quite a hit. Um, it was on every YouTube channel, on every Twitch channel. Uh, it went quite good for us. Um, uh, later on. Uh, we created a sequel called 60 Parsecs. Same kind of game. The last one was kind of post-apocalyptic wasteland survival game and this was in space. And this was 2018. Uh, a year later, 2019, we released 60 Seconds Reatomized, an uh, upscale version of uh, 60 Seconds when we did 4K graphics, switched to new engine and um, added many features. And uh, those are games. Uh, so let's focus on the subject. Uh, so why your game trader sucks. Uh, what are we going to do here? Basically, we're gonna touch the subject of game trailers. Uh, I'm gonna show you my tips and tricks, do's and don'ts, and show you some of my trailers and trailers that we did in Robot Gentleman. And at the end, there will be some time for some questions if you have any and. Hopefully, some answers if I will have any. So, let's get to the point the role of game trailers. Um, basically, game trailer is a marketing asset, and as such, it has everything that is bad and good about marketing assets so, budget, time, but also helps you reach your uh, viewers, your potential players everyone that uh, you want to you know like uh, infect with the idea of your game uh, do that inception all that good stuff uh, that everybody's uh, so hyped about your game so trailer is super important it's, uh, also very important on storefronts uh, steam xbox playstation switch app store google play and whatever kfc console whatever um, Trailer is important. Not everyone does though, those because actually I saw many uh, games uh, which were popular, but they didn't have game trailer. But still, uh, I would also always recommend doing them, and uh, Steam also recommends them. And uh, the role of game tra trailer is super important. But then what I want to talk about 
also is something I call the selling, uh, which is what is uh, game trailer for. It's uh, as I said before, you want to you know like uh, make the inception in the player's mind that your game is gonna be good, and game trailer is supposed to sell the idea to the player, uh, sell the idea of your game, tell them why is worth playing, worth buying. You know, it's business. You want to sell the game. You want to um, you want your player base to grow and the game trailer is one of those tools that can help you with that because you can show the idea, you can show the story, you can show the gameplay, you can show features and in the way that games are played because you know like screenshots are not the same thing right you can you can always show a screenshot and gameplay is differently the video is the most reliable source of information about your game I want to talk about the result and the result usually sucks and most of the games have really bad game traders like sorry not sorry but I saw many of them and uh, you probably too and sometimes it just meh and you don't want to do that you want to have rememberable video that is uh, enjoyable uh, entertaining and um, well it's an important marketing uh, tool so you can't you you want you know, like failure marketing, right? So, um, game traders are a thing and they were a thing for many years now. And in 2002, there was even a site called GameTrailers.com. And on this site, there were like, you know, like there were so many game trailers and uh, games were expanding as a, as a market, as an industry. Uh, there were so many material that you could actually weekly watch. Uh, game trailer top 10 uh, ranks or something you know like playlists and um, it actually spawned a whole whole culture of watching video game trailers like I remember me and my friend were just like sometimes meeting up and grabbing popcorn and watching just game trailers after some E3 or other showcase you know like this year we had so many showcases uh, uh, beside E3 there was like uh, I don't know even though it was actually the E3, it was PlayStation Showcase, Xbox Showcase, uh, Nintendo, there was also the Game Awards Showcase, and every time we saw a bunch of new game trailers uh, because lack of the events, because of the situation in the world, but anyway, people are like waiting for those, like it's a, it's a cultural thing, and uh, it's the time when you see so many games for uh, new platforms uh, for new console generation uh, for the next year what's gonna happen what's gonna be released you know all that good stuff and you always get hyped when you when you, when you watch those five minute movies that gonna tease you with something new or something old that you love you know game trailers were and are the thing gametrailers.com actually closed in 2016 and, and, uh, and it's gonna be missed but it spawned so many good things like uh, series like Angry Video Game Nerd, which I, I really love, and uh, Dorpy, and uh, many, many more. So, what are game trailers? Um, I kind of made my own selection, and uh, I divided them to, to, to some by the kind. Uh, so, it's uh, it's my personal it's my personal approach. Uh, it's not scientific because I don't know if there's science beside uh, behind the game trailers right now. Um, but I separated them to, to, to groups and the first group is like uh, big small time related first is a teaser trailer which is short and it usually comes up at the beginning of the of the campaign marketing campaign usually it's the same time when development starts and the com marketing campaign starts usually sometime later if you have a product that you want to sell so usually teaser trailer, announcement trailer, they're at the beginning uh, of the campaign and uh, so many people are telling indie game devs that hey you want to talk, talk about your game as soon as possible if you have anything going on talk about it well in bigger companies it's sometimes different usually you have a um, prepared campaign and a teaser trailer, announcement trailer is, uh, is something that's going on at the beginning uh, then you have game trailer, which is you know like a 
short video, uh, if I want to define it, uh, it's a short video that is defining the game, um, show the features, uh, show the gameplay, uh, tell you about the story, tell you about narrative, uh, it can be anything from animation to live action, actor, or animation, whatever. It can be everything that's actually the movie about your game. And there is a new thing called launch trailer. Um, it's not uh, anything especially new, it's just something that people started doing it because of the uh, popularity of, of you know, uh, media, YouTube and every, uh, every internet related media. Uh, people, as I said before, really like game trailers and launch trailers are those game trailers that are uh, usually released on the on the release day or maybe a few days before just to remind you that the game you were hyped about you know with all those game trailers around they're gonna they want to remind you that um this game you were hyped about is gonna be released today or tomorrow or any, anywhere soon so uh, companies started doing that and if you have power you should do it too you know like uh just to remind for everyone who was interested before that yeah this game is gonna come out and oh here's a new feature or maybe oh here's a there's a new boss or maybe some kind of secret revealed that uh, should you know like keep the hype up and keep you mo uh, constantly interested in in the game that's coming up so that's one of the approaches um, the other one I decided to make is a story uh, trailer uh, which is uh, well, supposed to give you the, the hookup on the story and uh, supposed to give you the imagination help you imagine what the story will be about you know like show you the characters show you the plot show you the world everything that's gonna be in the game too for you to explore to uh, experience um, there are many story trailers or story related trailers like for example when you have a big expansion for World of Warcraft they usually do these animations with showcasing new characters for uh, for the expansion or characters that are related to the story of the of the expansion um, and uh, this is one of the this is one of the things that are hype is built up on the story on the characters you know like recurring characters this is a sequel to a, a other big title but also we have the mm, totally opposite approach which is the gameplay trailer and it's focusing on showing case and the feature the mechanics you know like showing the gameplay itself with all the good things all the cool things you know sometimes those go totally separate ways you have the story trailer you have the gameplay trailer and uh, big companies usually you know like spam you with different trailers you know like behind the scenes story trailer this trailer this kind of mechanic trailer and the uh, gameplay trailer is usually uh, required very often uh, well sometimes it's just a recording of the gameplay but uh, having a gameplay trailer really helps you steam actually uh, kind of encourages you to keep your gameplay trailer or gameplay video at the beginning of your storefront page you know like to have it you know like uh, when you open the store page and you can see already someone's playing the game that's that's interesting that's fun you know uh, instead of a screenshot well gameplay trailers are usually um, also very required by players themselves because you know like and hey, it's a nice story that's a nice video there nice animation but what's the game I want to see the game so gameplay trailers super important and another one I kind of divided by uh, the technique that they are made of and we have the cinematic trailer which is usually some kind of footage of uh, in-game cutscenes or maybe standalone movie you know like animation pre-rendered you have those those good uh, big AAA pre-rendered um, cinematic trailers like for Assassin's Creed or maybe uh, Starcraft you know these huge epic uh, animations and um, Sometimes the trailers are made of uh, cinematic, in-game cinematics, you know, like in-game engine cinematics that are just, uh, you know, like showcasing some story or if you have game with 100 hours of cinematics, because there they, 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 they are games like that, um, you can, you know, like make a collage, you know, like edit it to, to show some kind of uh, 
game trailer of the story and you can have uh, live action trailers which are either super photorealistic animation either with actors you know like you have those um, movie uh, very movie like game trailer for waste not 2 when you have people dressed up as desert rangers uh, they are like burying someone on the desert and they are just like people in the in the costumes that's really cool and um, back in a few years ago maybe even even the 19s uh, people were doing those and they were like really cool so yeah i wanted to like summarize those kind of different kind of trailers uh, usually it's very uh, the borders are really loose so you can have like a mix of everything uh, it's all our like game trailers right so um i want to share my tips and tricks my do's and don'ts um Hopefully, yeah, they will help you with you know, making your game trailer a little bit more interesting and helpful with your marketing campaign. So, talking about marketing, the first thing, the one, one of the most important things, you have to plan ahead your game trailer. It's like it is a marketing asset, and with all good and the bad, you know, like with the budget, you have to deal with it. Uh, it's important to you know, like, not to spend. Uh, your whole your budget on the game trailer, but also you need to remember about it. It's sometimes very expensive, and if you do it yourself, your time is a is is a currency here that you have to spend, right? So if you're working on the game trailer, you don't work on your game, and if you're a bigger studio, somebody actually has to do it, and you need to you know like think about it. So there are many things involved on uh, planning the game trailer. And um, what actually we do in the studio, and I think that most of the studios are doing this uh, or a similar way, is starting with a scenario, or you know, like you have a picture here uh, from our meeting that was you know, like brainstorming, like what we want to do with, uh, with the game. So we were kind of writing a scenario and also drawing the scenario. So, writing a scenario and drawing a storyboard when you have a scenario. And what you see on the whiteboard is it is our kind of a storyboard. So we could you know like plan you know how many assets do we need, so how many assets we can reuse from the game already, how many new assets we have to create, how many animations, how many special effects, you know how how much of a gameplay we need to create, um, that kind of stuff. So uh, when you have you know. Like, your plans get out. It's really important to communicate with your production and marketing. Like I know you can be like one person studio and you are all of those. And you can be like ten person studio or hundred person. It's really important to you know like include your plans into your production and marketing to know the deadlines. Maybe there's a deadline because some kind of important showcase is going on, you know, like Gamescom or PAX or uh, E3. And uh, yeah, those deadlines would be kind of, you know, uh, unbreachable. So you need to know who will work on the, on the trailer because, as I said, if you work on the trailer, don't work on a game, or maybe you are working on both if you are actually reusing your assets. But, you know, like it's, a, it's an important thing to plan it. And uh, what we also are doing in our studio is that we create an animatic. And animatic is, you know, like kind of a movie itself with you know pictures that are made for the storyboard or maybe improved that show that are showing the uh, the flow of the video the uh, first first phase of editing um, uh, you can also you know like uh, find some music that is actually working for for the video you can work on many things with when you create an animatic and uh, still, you don't need to spend time to create uh, final assets, and this is actually very helpful because you will know for sure what can you cut out and what can you afford and what can you create to have a good trailer. So I want to share with you uh, one version of our animatic uh, for 60 parsecs uh, trailer.
Yeah, so that's one of the versions, uh, one of the first versions of the animatic, and it was slowly, you know, like building up to be a trailer. So um, the moments when you seen like a scavenge gameplay, survivor gameplay, uh, were you know like we were guessing that yeah, we want to show a little bit of gameplay here. We were drawing uh, or uh, writing down that yeah, you need to show this and that and this uh, according to the music, as you can. Put here the music was cut out in the in somewhere in the middle. Then we knew that we need to extend the music. You know, uh, you can learn a lot, and you can plan a lot with uh, animatic, and uh, it helped us many times. And uh, to compare what is the final effect, uh, I want to show you the the neck. Uh, I want to show you the final result of the sixty parsecs game trail. Welcome to the Atomic Space Age. Yesterday, Mr. and Mrs. Average American dreamed of reaching the stars. Today, they become astro citizens. Tomorrow, nuclear war. Meanwhile, in Earth's orbit, astro citizen cadets witness the end of civilization as we know it. But no one is safe from nuclear bombs. Not even in space. Astro citizens, assemble! 60 seconds to evacuate. <gasps> supplies. You will need a crew. Space is limited and time is running out. Three, two, one, blast off! 60 parsecs into the unknown! The fate of the last surviving humans is in your hands, Captain. Every day may end in a disaster and only your decisions can prevent it. Trapped together in a shuttle, you will face soup shortages and other horrors of outer space. Until you find yourself on a strange new world. Explore this alien planet and discover its mysteries in an incredible adventure. Survive dangerous encounters with aliens, robots, communists, space monsters, pirates, murderous AI, and a pizza from unknown dimension. But you're not alone on this journey. Become a fearless leader, a caring friend, or a supporting tyrant. Can you and your crew survive against impossible odds in a world yet unknown? Buckle your seatbelt, Captain. This is 60 Parsecs! Okay, so that's the final result of our work. It wasn't actually so much work uh, thanks to the, all the preparation and planning, but uh, there were still so many things we need to create for the, uh, for the trailer itself. And many things we created and reused in the game, like exploding space station, flying off uh, space shuttle, you know, space shuttle landing on the planet was also um, reused in the game as you know, like little cutscene when you're playing and you're crashing your ship. And yeah, you know, like it takes time. So what's important is that um, you cannot leave it to the last minute and. I strongly recommend to think about the trailer as soon as possible. Uh, 
well as for your whole marketing campaign actually but you know like it takes time and you need to think about when and how you want to do it if you want to just go for many traders or you want to go for one and spam it all again if you if you're happy with it and if you think it's actually you know like does the job so uh, there's a great graph made by my friend uh, from the studio um, you have the game development time and uh, usually the teaser trailer goes somewhere around at the beginning when you begin the campaign like it's usually this way it's rarely that you have already finished the game and start the campaign after you finish the game those those uh, those things are uh, going um, so on their separate ways, uh, but kind of at the same time. So you go with a teaser trailer somewhere at the beginning. Everything later is a any kind of, of game trailer, and you start to create your launch trailer somewhere, somewhere before the release and after the release. You have post development, and not many people actually focusing on the marketing after the release. Maybe, maybe if the the game is actually not really successful, and you try to you know like uh, lift it up and uh, do something to you know like to 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 help it be discovered. Um, but mostly the biggest, the biggest uh, is always the first day of the game, the opening, the release day. So you want to build up the hype before, not after, or just 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 a few days before, right? Okay, so um, you're working on your game trailer. Uh, you need to remember that uh, this is kind of a form of a video, a movie, and uh, you know it's not like the, it was discovered with the games. Uh, the whole movie industry is like what hundred years old more, and uh, commercials and everything. It's like going on forever. And it's really good to look into that. Look what the others are doing, like what the other uh, industries are doing. Get inspired, you know. Watch a cool movie. You, you like what you see in this movie. Like uh, explore the idea of using what you like in this movie or in this commercial. You know, our commercials are really smart. They usually want to um, implant the product idea in your head in 30 or less seconds. And uh, so, you know, like they did the research many, many years ago, and it's really cool, you know, like to look up for the, um, for the inspiration or for the science behind uh, commercials and movie trailers, you know, and even you look up for other game trailers that you like, see what others are uh, doing, how they are solving uh, problems, you know, like how they are solving, um, sh showing the gameplay or merging editing, you know, like gameplay with cinematics, you know, like the way others are doing it and, and learn. But it's very important to not to jump too, too far and assume that everything that works for them works for you because it's not working like that. Yeah, you won't just see a cool game trailer and just like copy one to one and think it's gonna work for your game. Especially if you want to have a very funny trailer for a very serious game or maybe with subjects that are not really mm, comparable uh, on different platforms, you know, like on different um, different uh, different ways to show things, right? So uh, there was this great game trailer for Battle Block Theater, uh, and there was this was for the Steam version. So it was, I think, second or another game trailer for this game but it was focusing on the Steam release and uh, it was super funny and uh, they definitely had the resources to do that with, uh, with a comedian that made the funny narration and the jokes were there but uh, if you would try to do something like that today I don't think it's gonna work or uh, not if you actually copy it in the same way of course you want to respect the others and don't just steal their ideas but I'm talking about you know like approaching the same same way things that are uh, working for others they might not work for you you need to be smart and uh, look how to how to you know make things funny your own way but also learn how they get to the point when they know that their thing is funny uh, it's kind of you know like a very very complicated and very 
not simple way to say how to find your own way for that. But anyway, this uh, this trailer is super funny, and you want to have funny, you need to look for for your own approach for that. So analyze what others are doing. Uh, analyze why they are doing what they are doing. Maybe they have the resource. Maybe they have the connections. Maybe they know people that can help them to reach the points. Um, you will always notice the difference in quality when you are comparing AAA studios to indie games and um, you know everyone in between. But uh, what I will always say to indie game studios that they need to be very very smart with what they're doing. So there's this classic movie called Warcraft and <laughs> there is a quote that they're stronger, be smarter and this is what basically you need to do when when you are smaller you need to be smarter you need to be creative and your limitations and this is very important your limitations actually can be your biggest advantage of being creative because um, you need to overcome the uh, the big guys you know like you need to show something funny basically you want to have uh, if you have a smaller game it has to be witty and funny and playable and, and just enjoyable and same goes for the trailer, you know, like, uh, you need to have the same kind of energy when you're doing the trailer, when you have the same energy when you're doing the game. If you think your game is unique, you need to bring it to the game and you want your game to be, um, your game trailer to be as, as unique as your game. So, you need to be smart about it. But don't get too carried away, like, you know you have something good working, you're working on something good, you have something good there, and you want to show it in the game trailer um, you need to like be cautious and if you know the game is funny and witty uh, dialogues are great uh, you cannot just spam all those things in the game trailer because you need to let the players know that this is gonna be a fun game or this is gonna be a serious game or this game is gonna be a shooting or whatever but you cannot just like spam the, the main feature just you know, make it short and focus on how to how to uh, show the features um, in a way that it's not gonna be too much, right? Uh, and for that, it's usually best to actually know who are you aiming for. So another tip is to know your audience. If you have an audience, it's good to actually you know. Uh, learn what they like, what they liked about your previous projects or maybe what they like about your game you know really read the comments go into discussions on message boards on reddit on steam wherever actually if you have a discord like we actually have a discord and it's uh, really fun to uh, interact with players and you know like learn what they like uh, they like some silly funny things about our games and um, we try to you know like deliver the same kind of energy uh, and if you don't have an audience uh, you probably have some kind of uh, perspective what kind of audience would be interested in your game so this is this is your audience so you need to look for similar titles or similar game trailers and see what others are doing what are they are aiming for is it for funny or childish funny or adult funny no i'm sticking to funny but you get the idea and talking about the uh, discord like this is this is what our uh, audience is creating and it's really showing us that kind of humor that we can actually learn for that from that how how the humor uh, we created is received and uh, processed and we can actually you know like if if this is what you like we can do something more of that you know like it's funny so it's it makes us uh, uh, happy that you find it funny and we can you know like go with the flow and make something more of it and of course there's gonna be memes somewhere but I would discourage you to use memes because it's a trap and why is it a trap because of the time frame um, usually work on a trailer well sometimes it can be super fast if you just like, record some gameplay and you have some cool idea to make a short game trailer sure but usually it takes time it takes time to make a music you know like um, edit and create assets animate record gameplays it all takes time so usually when memes are uh, super popular you want to in include them in your uh, game trailer 
when you finish up they might be outdated and usually it usually is the case um, just like be honest how much up to date are you with memes today like probably everyone is but uh, how how can you determine that when you will finish your game trailer the memes will be still um, actual and still funny there was this case of using memes by big corporation working on burgers and they wanted to use a meme that was really really outdated and it totally backfired because people were hating it and they weren't loving it they were hating it and they actually showed that and it wasn't very good for for the company the campaign was a flop and uh, it was kind of a um, good example for us to how, how you don't use memes in your game trailer but you want to make it entertaining and this is the, the most tricky part because how to make some stuff entertaining well I'm gonna go back to the watching what others are doing watching your favorite trailers movies you know and focusing on stuff that it's, what is funny you know like it's easier to build around one suspense or one plot twist or some kind of uh, maybe cliffhanger one joke uh, one smaller trailer then you know like try to make something big with everything and um, it's uh, it's really good to look for for the best ones and it's not like uh, we don't have many examples in the culture we have those great Assassin's Creed trailers that were you know like pre-rendered uh, animations with uh, great uh, cloth animations hair with the good music you know you, you watch them and it is entertaining it's like video clips uh, this one is from the uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Renovations and uh, with the famous track uh, music track by Woodkid and it is entertaining and you know <laughs> it's probably hard for every game to make an entertaining trailer but uh, you can do it in so many ways you can just try dynamically editing your videos uh, add some cool music you know uh, you need to look for your own way to make your game trailer entertaining and entertainment costs uh, time um, it's harder to you know like make a long and entertaining game trailer and usually attention span of viewers is very very small so don't make it longer than two minutes there there is not much videos that are uh, watched that are longer than two minutes and uh, as a proof i can show you our graph we have a graph uh is the graph um at the beginning there's like 100 percent viewers watching the, the video and the video is 1 minute 17 seconds and the, the longer the longer you, you look at the, the graph the, the, the less viewers are actually watching the video so at the end of the video so people who actually stayed uh, on YouTube and watched the video till the end 1 minute 17 seconds is 29.8% almost 30% people are watching one minute video till the end and most of them just you know like um, turn it off so it's important to know those kind of statistics how long how much you know and this is the thing like uh, it's easier to make a shorter video that is constantly entertaining and then you know longer one with different pacing so this is this uh, famous quote that everybody thinks that Alfred Hitchcock said that, that I want a film that begins with an earthquake and work up to a climax. Well, actually, he wasn't that the person who said that because it was Robert Montgomery, but he actually wasn't this person. It was uh, someone else. It was Robert Hart Davis, uh, but also it wasn't him. Um, he actually was the first one who used the quote uh, in a review he wrote in 1938 and he was in this review he actually was quoting some mystery man that was one just you know like the, he wanted a movie like that and it seems that for a hundred years people are constantly wanting high tension high uh, high entertainment I don't know action uh, in the movies and 
nowadays it's even harder to keep the viewer attention and uh, for the for the longer time span. So you need to have like mm, you need to have the idea of how to how to keep that how to keep the story how to keep the viewer attention how to keep the viewer to watch your video and to remember the game you're trying to to, to you know like to sell there. So it's very important to stay up, uh, stay up to date with the industry to um, you know like to actualize your your knowledge to um, to understand what's going on, what viewers are like, what they don't like, uh, you know. Uh, recently I noticed that so many players are uh, not really happy with the trailers they see on those showcases, especially the trailers that don't showcase the gameplay at all, and focusing only on those... Uh, um, focusing only on those uh, cinematic things, you know, like... Um, yeah, it's nice to see these nice animations and great plots, music, yeah, yeah, that's great, but how is it, how, how the game looks like, you know, like, what, mm, what is the gameplay? So, maybe the times are changing, and maybe it's important to include more gameplay, or think about the gameplay with your, with your game trailers. And saying about, talking about that, I just don't want to say that you don't want to record this gameplay, put it out there. Of course you can do it, like sometimes, some showcases, uh, competitions uh, for awards, they require you to have that kind of video, but you don't want to show that as, a, as your gameplay trailer. Even if you just want to focus on your gameplay, it's still better to... Um, edit it and keep up some kind of story um, you can tell a story with your gameplay even if it's a shooter or platformer you can still do a story with different pacing sometimes dynamics, few scenes dynamic, uh, there's a pause there's another dynamic se sequence you can do a lot with editing and still showing the gameplay so um, for example I can show you some statistics again and this is our viewer count for 60 seconds game trailer uh, 770,000 and 60 seconds gameplay trailer which is mostly recorded gameplay but there is some editing to actually edit out some boring stuff uh, but it's not really perfect and it's far from entertaining and you can see that's less than 100,000 views so I haven't even looked at the uh, viewer retention because this video, uh, gameplay trailer is, is longer, it's I think like a few minutes and I don't think anyone was watching that at the end. Uh, but I know now, it's, but I wanted to have a, a gameplay trailer for our game for everyone to actually you know, like, know what is the gameplay about because the gameplay we showed in the game trailer was a bit short and we're gonna see that later actually. So, remember about the platforms, uh, and I'm talking about platforms for your games uh, store platforms and also platforms, viewing platforms like YouTube. So, talking about the YouTube, uh, because it's one of the most popular uh, viewing platforms in the internet, uh, there are many statistics in, on, in the internet that can help you up uh, with the... Um, um, with the science behind uh, what viewers are doing and what kind of uh, decisions that they are making and that's everything for, for you know like for apps and uh, ads. So basically most of the people are watching YouTube videos on their phones and most of them are making decisions uh, to buy a product based on what they are watching on YouTube. So this is like huge numbers. Uh, and this actually makes you think that if you're doing a video that's gonna be watched on a smaller device, you know, like on a like on a cell phone, um, you want to have you know like your video clear and the message clear. Also, um, YouTube is a platform, and you know, like you have different different things like uh, captions. Uh, uh, you can promote your video as a, as a commercial, everything that goes with YouTube. 
But we'll also talking about the platforms, you also have the store platforms. So uh, there's Steam, uh, there's uh, PlayStation, Xbox, uh, Nintendo, and they all have some kind of either requirements, either recommendations. Like for example, Steam has this recommendation to keep your gameplay trailer at the beginning of your uh, gallery on the storefront, and uh, there is a there is this kind of uh, recommendation or culture with Nintendo games to show actors and uh, game played on in the handheld with the hands visible. So most of the games you on the Switch, you actually will be seeing the trade in the trailers, uh, people playing the games or um, game showcased on the handheld uh, option on the Switch, uh, Nintendo Switch. So uh, we did that also many years after the release and uh, it's a short video that I'm going to show you right now. Hello, Ted. Are you having fun in your nuclear fallout shelter? No, there must be something that will cheer you up. Shall we play a game then? How about 60 seconds? That's more than enough time to collect supplies essential for survival. Don't forget your family. Duck and cover. But this isn't over yet. Day by day, you and your family must survive in a fallout shelter for as long as you can. You have to ration food and water, send expeditions into the wasteland when supplies run low, and face unexpected situations. Making decisions that will affect your future. Sounds fun, because it is. Tell your friends. Good luck, Ted. The government does not guarantee that you will survive long enough to tell your friends or get sued. Look at him go. Yes, and we tried to include everything that I said, like actors, where well, we had one actor. And, um, and you know, like there was this... Uh, moment of playing the, the game with, with hands and I think Nintendo culture of game trailers is like that and um, it was really fun to do actually and we were happy to do it um, but yeah think about the platforms and there's another don't uh, make your trailer sound dependable uh, this is something that we actually are not really doing but I would still try to uh, encourage you to think about it like uh, there's this thing on YouTube when you can have captions so if you have a narrative on like a uh, narrator um, the actor like we had on the trailer just a second ago you can you know like write your own captions so you are uh, you have um, uh, you can watch the video without the sound and still have like some information but Videos like game trailers, like heavy on sound, then can be can lose some kind of uh, um, quality when people are watching them without the sound. Obviously, uh, but you need to think about the accessibility all the time, and uh, you need to think about who and how watches the, the the videos. So it's a good thing to add subtitles or animated text to your game trailer. Uh, you know, like just to make sure that everybody got the idea and um, or maybe some kind of features. Like for example, for Borderlands, there's this great game trailer with a lot of text, and we know the loot is obscene. It's hard not to notice that the loot is obscene because the text is there, and you can watch the video without sound at all, and you will still know that the loot is obscene. And uh, what's important is that uh, you want to show your game, but you want to show the features, but try not to show everything. Keep some stuff, you know, secret, or maybe you don't want to, you know, like overdo it uh, in terms of production and time management stuff. Uh, I always try to, you know, like uh, encourage you to show what's special about your game, like find the uniqueness of your game. Uh, if you if you are a person who's working on the game trailer and you're not working on the game, maybe you just have to talk with the person who's working on the game, and uh, you know find the 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 unique special thing about this game. And if you are a person who's working on the game and on the trailer, you should know it's your game. It's, it's supposed to be special. It's supposed to be unique. And 
you want to tell that in your game trailer. You want to tell that to your audience. And trailer is a really nice way to put it. Like text is important, screenshots are important, but game trailer is like everything in one place. And you can hook up the player uh, with a game trailer very, very well. So yeah, that's my do's and don'ts for game trailers. And I want to show you our first game trailer that we did for 60 seconds. But actually, I think sold the idea of the game and hook up some players and build up the hype even if it was like released a few months before the release of the game uh, it still helped us to reach a lot of players and uh, help us grow to the company we are right now so let's watch Meet Ted, a hard-working citizen and a family man. Hello, Ted. Wait a minute, what's that sound? Oh no, it's the nuclear bomb alarm. Not to worry. The government's superb early warning system gives Ted enough time to take cover. Don't just stand there, Ted. You've got 60 seconds. That's more than Ted needs to collect supplies essential for survival. Aren't you forgetting something, Ted? Remember to take your family with you. That's it. Take cover. But this isn't over yet. Day by day, Ted and his family must survive in the fallout shelter for as long as they can. They have to ration food and water, send expeditions to the wasteland when supplies run low, and cope with unexpected situations, making decisions that will affect their future. That's right, Ted. You show those mutant cockroaches. Ted can now safely enjoy those charming sunsets over the radioactive wasteland with his loved ones. Good luck, Ted. The government does not take responsibility for hardship, difficult and irreversible decisions, and canned soup diet that will follow. Um, I saw a question, I, I think there was a question... Um, about which trailer I was proud and why. I think this is one of the most important trailers for me. And this is uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, there's a whole lot, a lot of references in this uh, short, short video. It's not a perfect trailer, it's not the greatest piece of art. Um, I learned a lot till, till then, it was like five years ago. And um, I'm think, I think I would do better this time, this year, if I would need to create a trailer for this game. But I'm still very proud of it. It actually sold the idea. It was fun. It was, you know, like um, based on so many things, uh, like uh, animation about how to avoid nuclear launch, uh, like nuclear bomb uh, in the 1950s. There was this animation called Duck and Cover, and it was, you know, like about a turtle that was have, supposed to, you know, like survive this really grim vision of, you know, atomic blast. And uh, yeah. It was it was fun to do. Uh, we actually reused so many things from this uh, trailer later in the game because the game wasn't finished yet, and uh, we decided like, yeah, it looks cool. Like put it in the game, and there you go. Like it's uh, if you can do some stuff for the trailer and for the game, it's a win-win situation. So, so yeah. And the next trailer uh, I want to show you is uh, um, is the for the reatomized version. So four years later. Same kind of you know challenges and uh, people already knew the game. We know we, know, we knew that many people will know the game. We know that uh, there's a person who's turning into mutant, and we added some new features that we wanted to show, like growing hair and um, progress of the, of the of the characters. So again, we created something new for the same kind of uh, environment for the better version of the of the. It's kind of the same game, so let's see that. Meet Ted, Dolores, Mary Jane, and little Timmy, a true American nuclear family. How do you do, fellow family? What was that, Ted? I can't hear you over the sound of the nuclear bomb alarm. The nuclear bomb alarm! There, there. Remain calm. There is plenty of time to take cover. You've got 60 seconds. Make it count. Soup, 
water, supplies, and everything nice. Oh, I almost forgot. Make room for the family. Three, two, one, duck and cover. Welcome to your fallout shelter. Make yourselves comfortable. You will be staying here for a while. It's time to ration food and water. Send expedition to the nuclear wasteland. Cope with unexpected situations, making decisions that will affect your future. Then maybe survive. Or not. Well, hello there, Ted, Dolores, Mary Jane, and little Timmy, a true post-nuclear family. It might just be the fallout, but you folks are positively glowing. Enjoy living the radioactive American dream. The government does not guarantee an enjoyable radioactive American dream, but it can deliver on amazingly improved views, sounds, and hats. Okay. Um, that was 60 seconds to atomize game trailer. Like, we broke some rules that I was talking about earlier, like showing everything, because this time we showed a cat, a dog, a mutant, everything. But this is kind of a different thing, because people already knew the game, or uh, we wanted to hook up new players, that there's a lot of going on, and there are still some secrets that we didn't show on this trailer, so... Um, I think every case is kind of different, and we approach it this way. If it's the best way, it was when we were doing it, so... I guess it was. Okay, so that's all from me, uh, and we have still some time for questions. So I already see some questions. Question by Arnold. So Arnold person, uh, you mentioned talking, uh, taking films as references as well as games. Um, do you think it's the same genre of trailers, like they're close enough to base games on films? Yeah, I think so. It's, it depends on the film and depends on the game because you have so many movie kind of games and so many uh, tedious movies that you can still do a very uh, cool looking trailer. Like people are toying around in internet with different trailers. For example, uh, there is this uh, funny uh, trailer of, of Shining, fun, fun made, uh, making it look like a comedy. Uh, or f family f family movie, you know, like it's a it's a it's a crazy uh, thriller, horror even uh, movie, but still you can you can take some pictures and make it look like a fun story about family in the hotel, haha, and uh, and yeah, yeah, I think you can do a lot with the same uh, tools you have for movie industry in the game industry, especially with the trailers. Um, next question, would you say that the trailer needs to be informative about the game itself or is it entertainment most important? No, well, that depends. Um, I think it should be informative. Like, uh, in a way... Um, that you need to inform there's gonna be a game like that. And it's gonna be super cool, like this kind of information. But you don't need to inf like put all the informations uh, out there, like when, how, and what way, because it's like uh, with a, with a uh, washing powder commercials or any kind of detergent. You know, when you gonna when you want to buy it, then you know it's there. You know that kind of information. When you are like, I, I would like to play some, you know, like some kind of exploration. Oh, I saw this awesome trailer of this game that was, you know, like having this and that and then you remember the game. this kind of information this is gonna be the game and this game is gonna be cool because of that so so yeah I would say you can acquire that by having the trailer entertaining so entertainment is super in important tool to make the information sink into the viewer so so yeah well there are also special spe specific genres of the games like there is uh, this public of people playing, uh, for example, strategy games, right? So those people will be very um, uh, very interested information in the game trailer. For example, if there's another historical uh, turn-based uh, European uh, kingdom kind of game, they want to know what's new in it and their information is much more crucial than entertaining. But they also would like to have an entertaining kind of 
trailer to you know like uh, bring new players to the uh, to the to the bunch you know so yeah i think that's 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 it uh, which robot gentleman game trailer are you most proud of and why? I can I actually answered to that before. Uh, my first one uh, for the 60 seconds, it was fun to do and uh, it was super quick. Like, I never worked that fast before and it helped us a lot. And this is, uh, this is important for me. How to approach uh, learning new skills of using video editing tools? Are there some good Courses to learn and skills from scratch with goal of creating trailers. Uh, pro, they are, but if, are they good? I would need to, you know, like finish all of them to tell you. But um, there are many, many, many tutorials on on YouTube itself. Uh, are they good quality? I don't know. It's uh, like the way I learned was watching and trying to recreate the feelings. And feelings are super important. Trying to recreate the impressions, uh, but you have if you have money and you want to, you know, like uh, learn. There are a lot of uh, video editors and creators on many sites that, uh, for the right price, they can actually take you on a course and teach you stuff. Where do you see yourself in a couple of years in terms of trailer and movie making? Um, I'm not sure if I want to do a lot of groundwork and I think I would like to do more in terms of uh, creating the idea and maybe give it to someone else in the studio or maybe outsource it to create that because I do a lot of things myself and sometimes it's a, it's, it's a pain to get back to the same game and recreate some stuff like for example this year I was working on trailers for uh, our console releases for 60 seconds reatomized and 60 parsecs and I had to record new gameplays for specific platforms so for example I had to record gameplay for PlayStation for PlayStation release and Xbox gameplay for Xbox release and so on and so on right so that kind of stuff I would like to do less in my future and focus more on the idea and you know like the the better part of the creation but you know like that's that's just some personal stuff I guess hopefully and uh, this is what we're aiming for in robot gentleman we're gonna do more entertaining uh, videos uh, for our games more more of a more cartoonish and more fun to watch hopefully for for our viewers that's that's the plan any specific tips for a casual type of mobile games? What viewers that are not heavy gamers expect to see? Uh, uh, probably gameplay. I would say they are. They want to see how would they spend their five minutes or ten minutes in public transport. So I would just try to maybe those kind of uh, gamers would like to be overloaded with information that you can you know like have some good fun, but also you know they love unlock stuff you know they love their currencies uh, build their gardens or whatever and uh, i think you need to show that this game is gonna have um, this uh, huge amount of fun in a very short amount of time so um i would focus on that actually to show that it's gonna be fun and there's gonna be a lot more and, and even more and there's be collectibles and unlockables and you know just this this kind of audience uh, might be different than you know like other audiences. You just don't know that. What if you have a game with a unique genre, like uh, Slade Spire? How do you prepare a trailer for that kind of game? Well, you can also you, you can always watch how how they did their trailer and think if they actually made it. Uh, I would actually would like to do it, but later and um, that's an interesting question i think that what i said about uniqueness about the, uh, of your game is the most important so if you have a unique, unique genre and um slay the spire is a very unique game but also it's a card game so there are many fa many things that are around for years like cards yeah like um, i love card games and 
State Spire has so many things they already know, and they know that. So you can play on that card. <laughs> Uh, you can play on that card and actually uh, show that this is a card game. You like card games? This is a card game. This is a card game for you, but it has some specific new mechanics and you want to show them in a way that everybody would understand. So, if you have a game that is nobody seen before, you need to tell that, but maybe not with a text like, it's a game that nobody's seen before. It may be, mm, it's maybe not a good idea. Um, but you want to tell them, either with maybe some text, either maybe with some voice actor, or maybe showing something similar at the first glance, and then it's, whoa, it's totally different than I expected. I thought it's gonna be, you know, like a dungeon crawler or platformer, but it's not. It's a, I don't know what, what it is it, because it's unique, right? So you want to, you want to show that, and it's a bit of a, um, very creative question, and as such, uh, it's fun to actually explore and you know, like to look around to to see the answer. So, if you have a game like that, then congratulations! It's a it's a fun it's a fun challenge to to show it to the world. Okay, I don't see any other questions, so uh, I want to thank you all for watching, and hopefully, uh, it was helpful for you. And wish you all luck with the game trailer challenge. So, thank you so much. Uh, this is me. You can contact me, and if you want to show me your trailer and ask for uh, uh, some tips and some questions, like I'm always happy to answer. Maybe not really fast, but still, I try to answer all the questions. And yeah, that's all. Thank you so much, and bye bye.